Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today I'm not too sure why I'm so happy because it's another ghost video Like I, I literally didn't want to do this episode I had no intention of doing this but Marco Pagan encountered Michael's ghost again And it feels like that topic it just hasn't been spoken about for about a year now We did so many episodes on this We found so much evidence behind this and then all of a sudden it just stopped and the reason behind it is because I didn't want to Investigate it anymore. We found so many weird things going on and I thought I may as well just give it a break but recently Marco Pagan has just come out with this new episode and this showcases another sighting of Michael's ghost and believe me it is pretty damn scary I am not looking forward to this but it's it's gonna be awesome if we find something I am going to be like running out of this room but it's gonna be amazing at the same time so enjoy the clip and yeah let's just get straight into this guys Yep, it's another one of those videos. And the thing is, he was just walking around Michael's house. And what I noticed is that you can't actually do that unless you use mods to get inside the house by going through the walls, essentially. And what I was thinking is whether Rockstar Games added these ghosts into the house to keep us out of the house. So maybe if we walk around the house, we can see someone in a window. Or maybe if we glitch inside the house, we will encounter this ghost to tell us off for like getting inside the house, essentially. It's a really weird theory, but that's what I'm thinking thinking is going on and the interesting thing is is that there is actually a ghostly orb in front of the mirror as well when I first started investigating this I was thinking to myself something is going to happen in front of this mirror but I don't think anything did I'm not too sure if anything did I might have seen a few glimpses of stuff last year but nothing significant nothing like this happened in front of the mirror so I'm looking forward to getting into this at the same time I'm extremely scared but either way it's gonna be awesome we're going to experience this together and we're going to see what we can find so Marco I I know you're watching this man. If you want to go and subscribe to him, I will leave a link to him in the description below. Michael, Michael, Michael. Come on, buddy. So the way this works is you have to take out the protagonist. I believe there's a ghost for Trevor, there's one for Michael, and there's one for Devin as well. And maybe Rockstar Games added in Michael's ghost with the latest update. Maybe they realized we found the orb, and they may as well add in the ghost as well. I'm not too sure, but so many things are going on. So Michael, are you here, buddy? There he is. How's it going, Mikey? Good to have you back in. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to go down this road. I'm really sorry, Michael. Give it up, dude. Give it up. <laughs> Give it up. I need your ghost. The way this works, for those of you who are new to this, once you take out the protagonist, so for example, I'm taking out Michael, he will then haunt me from then on from his house. If you do it for Trevor, he will haunt you from then on from his house. If you do it from Devin, he will haunt you from either his house or where he was taken out. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked into him too much, but we've definitely found some sightings. Oh, there we go. Yeah, hold up. Hold up, Franklin. Shall I save him or shall I... No, I'm going to drop him because then it will give me a reason for that ghost to come in. So I'm going to drop you. You know, totally my decision. If you want to haunt me, you're going to want to haunt me now because I've just dropped you. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to... I don't... <laughs> I just don't like ghosts, okay? I don't like ghosts. Skip this as well. I'm going to plug my headphones in while the credits are rolling. Why on earth are we even doing this? Oh my gosh. All right, Trevor, wake up. Wake up. I don't need you, actually. You're fine. You can... You can get out of this, don't worry. We don't we don't need you for the ghosts. You can stay here. We just need Franklin. What is he doing? He's sending someone away in a taxi, I believe. Yeah, there we go. If you want to find out who that person is in the taxi, I have done a video about that. And I will link it at the end of this episode if you want to check it out. Oh my gosh, the game is so loud. Like, I can hear every single detail of sound. Oh my days. If this ghost is in the house, I am definitely going to hear it. Get out of this. Get into Michael's house. There we go. Michael has been taken out for real this time. Oh dear, Lester. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. But look at this. If you try and go into his house afterwards, you can't actually open the door. So what I'm thinking 
And this is my theory, is that Rockstar Games have put this ghost inside the house to stop you from going inside. Because there must be glitches to get inside here. I've seen many glitches before. So they know people are definitely going to get inside at some point. So they probably have this ghost inside the house to stop you from doing that, to try and scare you away. And of course, if you look in the windows, if you look through the kitchen window and stuff, you will of course see the ghost as well. So maybe Rockstar Games did this to try and drive people away from the house as kind of like a really cool Easter egg or something like that. I can imagine them doing something like that. We're just gonna go inside the house. Screw this, let's go. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? What are we even doing? What time is it? It is currently half past 11. Oh gosh, I keep imagining things already. I'm imagining things already, guys. It's the footsteps, they're so loud. Michael! Michael! Michael, is anyone home? Man, Mike, Michael, if you're a real ghost, then you're pretty boring, dude. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing, man? Hey, Michael, if you're in here, show yourself. I'm just gonna, you know, use everything in your house. I might trash the garage or something. I know, I know you really like the garage. Hey, Michael, I'll knock over this plant pot. Man, people have been talking about you like a really scary ghost, and I don't hear you at all. I'm just, I'm talking to myself. Of course, I'm just jinxing things here. Let me show you guys the bathroom to show you what we're talking about. I actually don't want to go in there. Close, just go in, just go in, just go in. Let me show you guys what we're talking about here. There is a white orb in front of that mirror. You can see it right there. It's a ghostly orb. It has no purpose. Except for the fact that it's just there. Like, you can see it. And when you look in the mirror, it vanishes as if it wants you to look in there. And what Marco did is he looked in the mirror. Oh! <laughs> and he waited for the ghost to show itself in the mirror. Like in one of those movies where you just look into a mirror and all of a sudden there's just a face which pops up screaming. Oh, gosh. I'm imagining that already. Michael, if you do that, I, I'm not going to be happy, okay? I am not, I'm so, I'm actually so tense right now. Right, I need to phone Michael as well. Even that sounds scary. Even the busy sound sounds scary, guys. I'll phone him three times. And I'll let the busy tone ring itself out. Friends will not hang out if they're not available. <laughs> I don't think Michael's available right now, to be honest. There we go, there's two times. In half an hour, his ghost is meant to spawn in. Oh my days, I can... Yes, I did it, Trevor! I did it! Okay, can I text you back? Oh wow, no man, I heard it was Devin Weston. I didn't know he said that! Wow, so that was a fast response. Michael, if you're gonna show yourself, do it now, dude. Just do it now, please. You're just prolonging this too much. Oh my gosh. I just, every time I think about this, I just picture something happening in front of me. I'm just looking at myself. Like, this is so weird. How's it going, Franklin? You doing good? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me Michael DeSanta once and for all. That doesn't work. <laughs> I do not believe you. There we go. Mike. Oh gosh. Okay. It happened right after this text from Marco. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me Michael D. Santa once and for all. I, I don't, I'm just, I'm trying to occupy my brain here to stop me thinking of this ghost. And it's not helping at all. Nope, still nothing. St we're good. We're good. Still nothing. I'm going to wait until 3 a.m. And then I'll fast forward this to the next day. In fact, no, I need to check out what day it was for Marco. And the weather condition as well. I think I might do that next. I'll stay here until 3 a.m. Come on. Six minutes. Wait. Did I? Did I hear a voice? I'm uh, no, j no, no, no. J and it happened right before the text as well. From a map. I- I'm not like- I, I'm not going crazy here. I definitely heard a voice. There was definitely a voice and it sounded exactly like Michael. Am I- am I going crazy? Because when I think about things, it gets- it gets really into-
Go away! Ah! <laughs> Ow! I got the funny bones! Ow! I definitely know I'm taking these off. I definitely heard a voice. I definitely heard a voice. Can we replay that? Well, I can't replay it now because I'm recording. It, I might replay it in the video. I don't really know what it said. It was so faint. But I heard a voice and it sounded exactly like Michael. I'm gonna check out Marco's video and see... That actually sounded like someone else was like in the roof or something. Like there was, it wasn't my footsteps. It was like a, a rumble. Dude, this house, it's its haunted. It, it is straight up haunted. It's straight up haunted. It was a Sunday. He did it on a Sunday. Imagine if we just walked into a room and there was a shadow on the floor, but you couldn't see who it was. It was just a shadow. That would freak me out. That would really freak me out. The spare room, of course, that no one knows what it is. I mean, I guess they have to have a shower in there because they don't have a shower in their entire house. Can you see the white orb again? Ooh. The white orb has disappeared. Now that is strange. It's just disappeared on me. The white orb is gone. It's vanished. This house is playing tricks on me. It genuinely is. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me... What rhymes can I come up with? Comment below some rhymes for this. Michael, just show yourself. I've already got the messages from Amanda and Trevor, who have basically just confirmed they don't like me. I'm going to phone up Michael again, just to see if his ghost is, is awake. Okay, let's do it again. Michael, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep phoning you. I'm just gonna keep phoning. Five, all right, let's do this again. Okay, there we go. I've, I've awoken the ghost. I mean, if someone phoned me three times in the middle of the night, I'd be awake. I'm going to wait here until three, and if nothing happens again, then I might leave this until another day. I'm walking up and down now. I just want to give myself something to do to take my mind off the fact that something could easily just jump out in front of me and set me on fire. You know, that that really, it gets to me a little bit, you know? It's, it's the noise. Come on, Michael, where's your ghost, dude? Where's your ghost? There we go. It's now 3 a.m. I'm going to take a wonder around his house. I just remembered they have this clock. I don't know where it is. But you can hear it. If I go here. No, I definitely heard it. I definitely heard the clock. There was a ticking. There was a ticking. I was about to say, I can always hear a ticking in this house, but there's no clock to be found. That is actually a very good observation. If you go into this house, you will hear the same thing. Whether he's been taken out or not, you will hear the ticking every now and then. I heard it before, and now I can't hear it. But there is some sort of ticking. What the heck was that? Something just went off outside. Man, this house, it, play, it plays tricks on you, for real. Something just happened outside. I have no idea what it was. There is also a ticking, which happens in this house, but no clock. And there is Michael's ghost wandering around this house. I definitely heard a voice. Definitely. Just looking at the time, guys. I've been recording for about 45 minutes or so. So I've recorded quite a bit of stuff. And I need to go back and edit this and find out exactly what we found because I definitely heard something going on. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would, of course, be absolutely amazing. And I recommend you press that subscribe button just below this video so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And what's been quite helpful in other ghost videos is having you guys go back through the video as well and see if you can find anything else which I may have missed because of course I've got headphones on I'm looking at everything but there's still one or two things which I could have possibly missed and it has happened to me in previous episodes as well where stuff like that has happened so if you do find anything I may have missed in this video just comment it in the comments below and maybe we can find a few other things which I didn't even realize happened in this episode but unfortunately guys I'm going to end the episode here thank you so much for watching my name is Nort and until next time stay absolutely awesome I'll see you guys in the next video